Okay, bravo, very nice. We, we still didn't make it to the end, but you are already playing so well. Bravo. It's, it's a big step forward. Of course, we have a lot to discuss yet, but I mean, it's really, really a very good uh, base to do what, what we want. Um, you know what? You should <clears throat> be aware of that every single uh, variation here is about something. You know, it's not just Bach Chacon and you know, it goes through. No, every single one has its own story, you know, its own message, I would say. And, for example, yum, bom, pee, yum, pee. when you come here, um, it's quite grandioso, you know, but you are playing like yum, bom, pee, bom, pee, da, 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 like... You know, part of Chacon, you know, so this kind of things, and of course they are very tender ones, yeah, etc, etc, so bom, be, be, bada, be, 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 yeah, it should be, um, we have to distinguish very well which of those are quite heroic and grand, etc, which of them are quite, you know, tender and, you know, tsuruk and etc, and in between, a few different things as well, like uh, as everything in life, you know. It's not only black and white, but also in between. So this, uh, to fulfill, would make this music really, you know, very, very attractive, attractive and really meaningful. Otherwise, people tend to play just like a piece, you know. Yeah, it's Bach and they take it seriously, but somehow it's boring. This piece is not boring at all, if you really figure out. Okay, so we will discuss these things. Um, I like very much the uh, team, the beginning. Very good uh, job. Um, only your vibrato. Bam, bam, pee, should be bigger, bam, bam, pee, etc. It's still a little bit too passive, but the, the relation between chords, etc., is quite good. Um, what else? Okay, let's, let's just begin and then discuss. I don't remember every detail. passive. Uh, I know that it's relatively difficult, but not too difficult to vibrate, you know. Do it Do it many times. Practice first chord as, as you uh, have practiced already. So, and then practice first and second. To make really difference between these two. Not very big difference, but you know, somehow it should be um, the count. Yeah, some. Yeah. 
you know, think of second chord like like it's uh, three together, more or less. Come a little bit to the uh, uh, green bread. <laughs> Practice the second one a little bit. couple of times. Yeah. yeah. First chord make uh, no accent, just the emphasis. Baya, baya, not, not. Bad. So keep it. Now, this one would be nice to vibrate this. Uh, I have to. There, sixteen notes are a little bit too small for me. Suggest that you do the bow, the, the body movement, the bow, body language um, for each small one. Etc. So when you do this, it will become really. It will, it will get the weight we need. I want 
wanted to tell you that in the uh, in the team in the very beginning and here uh, you are busy with doing all of this stuff I understand but still um, think of that you have to make a line pa -di -di, pa -di -di, ra -ra -di, ra -di -di, Pari, ra di ra ra pari, etc. Pa diam, 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 pa bi, 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 ya, etc. etc. So, we have a line here. So, I don't want you to get back, but just think of it, yeah? Think of a melody when you are playing, of course, dealing with chord, with faster, shorter, whatever, you know, I understand. But uh, when you think or when you begin to think of it now, it will develop too, together with your technique, this vision. So it's it's by the end uh, in the, as a final result it should be beautiful melody, beautiful line. Okay, so think of it. Okay, uh, let's go to piano. The... But I, I think this should have development within this short variation, you know. Little bit Zuruk Halten, and the second one is little bit already forward because it's going to develop to something else. Okay, you play more or less same two times. So first time I would do little less maybe than what you are doing. The internet is of course not perfectly giving all the nuances, etc. But still, yeah, little less and little more than the middle. prominent yeah you know you are making a big hole I would already you know bring it like to the next one So practice be pa ba bi ba bi ba bi ba bi ba bi practice it little bit pa ba bi ba 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 many times No 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 singing like legato pi ra di ra di ra you are playing to separate You are playing somehow. Little bit different than everything before. But now you play da da dim, pa da dim, 
Pirari. One more thing, you know, when you are playing this uh, variation, you, I mean, everywhere, but this uh, here, somehow it feels, you know, too much. Um, you have to sing more. separate too much keep the line and and you know make this nice shaping of longer ones Just two bars, two, three bars. Yeah. Tayam, payam, payam, little bit. Yeah, payam, payam, just the, the previous, the, the one, the first one out of two chords. Bam, bam, bam. There's something wrong with Ataka, you know, with the touching the lower and upper, uh, uh, what is it, the double stop. Imagine, like, for example, we are starting, like, like our arm uh, is made, yeah? The, the whole variation is thin, and uh, the second half is getting, you know, and Pirarari uh, is getting already to something else. The shoulder is round and thicker than everything else, etc. It somehow moves to, to another subject, you know? Imagine this way, yeah? Okay, yeah. Uh, what else I wanted to say? There was something else. I don't remember. Okay, this is good enough for to keep. I mean, you have still quite uh, a few things to do here. Let's move on. Somehow I don't have the feeling. Your second is quite big, but I would say you should keep it this way. Make the first one a little bit more heavy. You know, you. Somehow sounds like this. Zweifel haben. Ich habe ganze Zeit Zweifel an, was du spielst. You see? It should be absolutely acceptable. 
how you do it, I don't care. But I don't want to have doubts, you know. I don't want to be too pedantic, you know, but you play... You will hear it on the, on the uh, recording, yeah? Uh, I mean, practice it a little bit. I have done it for myself, and that's why it's it's so natural. I don't need to make big effort to play it this way. It's became natural, so it will become natural for you too. Actually, to realize that this tradition of you know uh, from 1980s etc. So to show these two voices, which was very popular in Europe and also in in, in Russia etc. I don't find this necessary. You know, it it is. What do you want to demonstrate? Did you understand that there are two voices? Or you want for idiots to get it 100% and give them to understand? No. <laughs> you know, you just play it. Oh, who gets it? Who gets it? Who doesn't? No problem. <laughs> okay, so don't do it so obviously. It's too much black and white, you know? If you just separate them inside of your head, you don't need to do anything extra. It's not just... It's not this way, but if you do it just very little, it's enough. Now try to make every single note vibrato because there are some notes that are missing. Very few, maybe one out of 10, 15 notes, but uh, still it's, you know, cutting the line of singing, you know. So it's human, you can do it once, twice or so, but, you know, there are 
places where you stop vibrato were are not difficult at all. It's just you know you didn't pay attention. So. Bravo, very good. And now reduce your vibrato two times, much less vibrato. You don't need to vibrate so much. Now, in this legati, you, you do them quite well, but they would sound even better if you would make little extra singing in this legati. just separately, no legato at all, and then play with legato and you will see how much richer it becomes through the legato. Okay, so legato is something really extra, filled with color, with light, with emotion, you know. It makes it completely different stuff. Okay, so it's, it's like, like, like um, schmuck on top of something. I mean, Schmuck is always good if it's done well, if it's a good taste, you know, if it's appropriate, etc. So here it is really, really appropriate. Okay, good. Okay, let's move on. This legato was good, the previous one could be a little better. The same, you know? Like yeah. By the way, by the way, um, how was you start? Yeah. higher quality, somehow more homogen, you know? It's somehow you have to show a little bit this line with it going down. It begins pari, pari, ra, ra, from there. You know, think like Think this way. Yeah, ba di da di da da da. Yeah, but in the, the first legato, a little bit fatter, you know, more, more vibrato. Yeah, 
when I am playing this, I have somehow uh, extra focus on every legato here. Somehow it makes it more rich, you know, when you just not only play very cultivated, etc., but when you really notice this legati. You know, it's... Um, imagine we have some nice material. On top we put something made out of leather, you know, little thing here, little thing there. Maybe it's tasteless what I say, but I'm just talking about different material. That it can be blended there and nobody see, but it can be something extra, like extra button, extra sort of, you know, schmuck, like, like, so. You know, it makes completely different and much richer, yeah. One thing, I cannot sing this melody. Here. Still. Somehow you play very insignificant because we made significant something else. But this still should be good quality. to change your, your inner, you know, uh, state. Yeah. Completely different. You have to be what you are playing, right? So, in order to make this really standing out, I mean, differentiating, you know, colors, etc., you have to do it inside too. So, relax. Yeah. Relax. Wait a minute. You can make a pause. This pause we can uh, eliminate any time. So. Entlere dich und probier mal das Ding komplett frei zu spielen. Wechsel is to gross, which um, disturbs the legato, but never mind. You know, this small of uh, the sort of little bit behutsama for the fuel for that. Thank you. 
Somehow it's to, to start the trend, yeah? I would do it a little bit more singing, singing. When you try to sing, all these things uh, automatically get to the right places, you know? Try again. Yeah, no glissando. No glissando. And then, and then, ta, ta. Uh -huh. yeah. With flageolet, you have possibility to jump earlier, no, uh, nobody will hear. Try. Practice this, this shift uh, flageolet down. little time here to make it technically as smooth as good connected as possible to start to make the melody to make to start to make really the other uh, creation that we want so this you need to write an MBC and then the rest is already alright ok so everything is very good so let's move on Again, where you started. And now it begins a line towards jumping palm, which should be very big. Yeah, it's one of the first huge, uh, um, I'll say, tops, the mountain tops that were. Uh, the, the arriving, yeah? There will be a couple of them. One was before, yeah, baby, baby, but it was not too big because it's just beginning of the big story, yeah? So this one is quite big. Yeah, bim, bam, and the line begins from here to there. <laughs> It should not be only crescendo. Every crescendo is not only, uh, you know, decibel, but uh, developing in every single way you can. Because getting bigger bows, you know, getting different posture, you know, getting louder, vibrato is changing your, your inner, you know, your face, a lot of things. I mean, everything we have, yeah? We don't have only one um, uh, criteria for crescendo, which is, you know, decibel. Okay, so, how does it look here? Yeah, 
this is already quite different than. And this already belongs quasi to the next one, you know. This should be as big as possible, not too loud, but grandioso, and everything else before should be mounting, you know, preparing in that. Yeah? No, no, no. Uh, third time should be definitely bigger bow. The da da di brighter bow. Okay. But when you are trying to make something huge like your vibrato is very uh, economical, you know. Well, think of that there are a lot of open strings, yeah. So you cannot really develop vibrato here because of open strings. But at least in between. Thank God they are all on the. Uh, emphasis of uh, every duplet, so very good occasion to build it. Bigger, bigger, bigger. Like yaga daga 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 diga daga diga daga diga daga diga daga. I am exaggerating, but you know, really getting bigger. Yeah. Okay. Go on. Yeah. So this this needs a different um, dedication, you know, approach. You know, you have to figure out the way to make them grand, you know, whatever is needed, take your time figure out what kind of vibrato, what kind of bow, what kind of accent, what kind of inside of your, your inner, you know, state, etc. You have to check it all. Try. One by one. So figure out the vibrato, figure out the bow, you know, your, your relaxed state, so how big it can be and how relaxed you can, you know, you cannot be completely relaxed, but it's as, as economical as possible, and then add accent. So four, at least four things to check.
So I said about four things, which are quite a lot, but doable for you. And if you want more, would be breathing, that you pay attention, that you breathe, relax, you know, beep, ah, doesn't matter what you do here, you are breathing here very quietly. And uh, uh, six, number six, I would add happiness. Mm -hmm. You know, this state. Beep, beep. It's positive, it's not aggressive, you know, this thing. It's grand and lebensbejahend, yeah? So when you come here, there should be very positive uh, uh, fluids in the concert hall, you know, for the listener. Very positive. Okay, other people played uh, sort of sad, uh, the, uh, angry, etc. Not at all. This is absolutely... Okay, good. Let's move on. You don't come here. You play quite well, but your thought is doesn't, you know, bring you there. It's enough to think about, you know, when you think this way, it starts to work that way. special technical thing that you should do to get it the right. Good connection. You have to figure out how to sing to the end and to uh, attack uh, the next one, etc. So, there is little bit of work. <coughs> it's quite important. If it's not possible, okay, but sometimes you can do it. To make this really mounting there, you have to try to do not make diminuendo, do not stop your vibrato. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. One small warning. Not climb. It's like many violinists are playing, you know, all string uh, section is playing, you know. Very nice. Pam, 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 Little bit need dedication. Repeat it a couple of times. There I actually have a question. I'm a little confused how long I should keep. You know, you know, if I should make. Do this way. Second way. Sounds much better. It's 
uh, double stop. You play one note. tempo five times and then little faster five times you know build up do it couple one more time little faster you don't vibrate this one easy to vibrate. Paganini Caprice what you play a little bit, not really, but uh, not like Bach. First one, well, uh, first note. Piram, piram, param, piram. Okay, the last one was good. The uh, the, the the previous ones. 
could be a little smaller to, you know, to, to grow. But be careful with it. Bam, bam, bam. This is a little bit like, like you know, too much, too much, much too much. We should find a way to make it prominent, but not so that it's you know too much. <laughs> okay. I would I would do something. Just the last one to show a little more. You know, some somehow not every single time. <coughs> some uh, some of them should be, you know. Yeah, but uh, don't play small in between everything else. big. Okay, you get it. It's again getting, you know, thicker, more, more massive, you know, whatever part of the body you take, or a flower if you take, yeah, if it's a heavy flower, it needs little bit of, you know, substance to, to hold it, etc. So, this is natural thing. Okay, let's move on.